Hey, Arkham, New Jersey. It's Matthew Ocasio with In Home Training here with another Wednesday edition of Healthy Tips and Guidelines uh, in Exercise. And also today at 11, we have a bonus fitness class for you guys. Uh, we usually do the Fridays and we'll be doing uh, this Friday at 1 as well. But this week we get a bonus day as today at 11 we'll be doing uh, an exercise class. So I hope all of you can join us. Um, by the way, for the exercise tips today, I'm super excited. We're going to be using this ball in honor of March Madness, my favorite time of the year, which has been going on all March. It's still going on. It goes on through the first week of April as we now have our final four. I don't know if any of you are into basketball, but if you are like me, it inspired me for today's uh, healthy tips and guidelines as we'll use this ball. Uh, some of you know from the classes I've talked about I coached basketball uh, for over 10 years, uh, so it's a great time of year for me, a lot of fun, uh, and inspired today's, today's exercises I'm going to show you. Uh, before I show you these, as always, um, feel free to contact us, inhometrainermat.com, info at inhometrainermat.com, 908-875-3241, uh, with any questions about what I'm showing you today or anything involving the classes or past videos, any questions you have with health, health and fitness, we're here to help. Uh, so feel free to contact us. That's what we're here for to make sure you guys are getting not just a great workout, but a healthy and safe workout as well. So without further ado, uh, here we go. Now, if you don't have a ball like this at home, this is a stability ball. But if you don't have a ball like this, that's completely fine. Uh, you can use a, a common basketball, soccer ball. You can use a pillow even. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know, for today's, I, I thought it'd be fun to use the stability ball. But you can use any kind of ball or light object you have. As long as it's easy to hold and the weight's equally distributed, um, you don't want to hold something that's heavy on one end and not on the other. But besides that, as long as it's safe uh, to hold, feels even in your hands, uh, that's more than great for today's workout. So the first one we're going to do here, we're going to take the ball and we're just going to twist to one side, stop in the middle, twist to the other. Just like so. And I could have used a basketball today. I have one right in my closet here, but I didn't want to throw you guys off and think I was going to be doing like some kind of dribbling uh, skill set video and have some people turn it off saying, oh, I'm not, I'm not trying to improve my basketball game here. So I figured, uh, figured this was better. So what we're doing is we're taking the ball and we're just using our oblique muscles as the side of our abs to gently rotate from one side to another. Just like this. And again, not exaggerated. I'm going to where I feel comfortable. I'm keeping my knees bent, shoulder width apart, and I'm just using my oblique muscles again to rotate from one side, back to the middle, and the other side. We want to stop in the middle. That way we're not using our momentum to turn as I'm doing here. We're using our core muscles to control the movement in both directions. Okay. Next one we're going to do, same kind of motion, but now we're going up over the head. You guys know this one. Hip to hip. So we want to come up over the head, land on one hip, and then back over come back down on the other hip. So we're just gently rotating. We're using the same core muscles throughout our obliques, our abs. Nice and slow. You should see the ball come up over your head, follow it with your eyes and torso, and up to the other side. Good. Let's do one more, and good. 
All right, next one we're gonna do. Now, if you got a big ball like this, you're gonna have to widen your legs. And remember, sitting, you can do these um, same exercises. Now, this next one, if you're seated, you're just going to bend in your chair and come up to chest level. If you're standing, you're gonna take the ball all the way through your legs and up to chest level. So I'm going down through my legs and up to chest level. Down through my legs, up to chest level. I'm bending, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see better here, but I'm bending just down, almost like a squat, slightly leaning forward so I can get that ball through my legs and then up to chest level. Nice and slow, again, controlled. We're not using momentum, we're not swinging back and forth like this. All that's doing is hurting our hips. Instead, we're nice and controlled so we feel it in our leg muscles. As we come up, we should feel it in our core muscles. Just like so. Let's do two more. One. And two, good. All right, guys. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna hold the ball no matter the size of it. I want you to squeeze that ball as much as you can and as you squeeze it, you're gonna push it out. So I'm gonna push the ball straight out like so. Bring it back and squeezing it. Squeezing the ball so that we feel it in our triceps, which is our arms. Feel it a little bit in your chest and your back. Squeeze slowly, bring it out, and back in. Want to make it a little more complicated? You can squeeze and just squat just a little bit. Just like so. If the squatting is throwing you off, then just do the standing and make sure you're squeezing as you push out and straight in. Two more. Do a squat one for the last one. Good. Just remember guys, again, no matter the size of the ball on that, as you slowly push out, squeeze it to really get those arms and that ch those chest muscles activated. All right, last one I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna use the wall over here. So what we're gonna do, again, doesn't matter what size ball you have, you're going to gently roll it up the wall and then gently roll it back down. What this does is it activates the back muscles. It also gives you a nice stretch in the back. The further you can get it up the wall, the more of a stretch you're gonna get. I know, I'm sorry, I didn't give you guys any dribbling drills. So gently rolling it up and bringing it down. Rolling it up. My shirt's coming up more than the bowls. Gently bringing it down. Up. And down. A couple more. Up. Get a nice big stretch. Nice big stretch in those abs. Back down. And last one. Up. And back down. Good. All right, excellent job, guys. That is a ball routine. Now, uh, before we go, I want to say I did get the uh, award from you guys in the mail, and I want to thank you so much. That's such a cool award. Uh, I had no idea what it was. I heard the UPS guy drop something off and knock on my door. 
Uh, and, and to get this and see the Heroes Award presented to my team, I want to thank you guys so much. I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys all today. When, um, today at 11, uh, we're going to have a great workout for you. We got a couple great workouts for you this week, today and Friday. And uh, I love working with you guys. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Uh, have a wonderful day. Arc of New Jersey, uh, whether you're joining us or not. And again, 908-875-3241, info at inhometrainermat, inhometrainermat.com. We're here to help. Please let us know how we can help you get in better shape, get you healthy and safe uh, as this warm weather approaches. Have you feeling good for the uh, first summertime here. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day, Arc, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit.